and then I'll dye my hair blue specifically to talk about mermaids. Hey, it's Rachel Sell. It's the month of May. I've been noticing there's this little phenomenon going around where everybody's been drawing mermaids. So I did a little bit of research about it, and apparently there's this new thing going on that's a month-long challenge to draw one mermaid every day for the month of May, and it's called Mermaid. You might have seen a bunch of different artwork pieces from the different artists that you follow with hashtag mermaid. I don't even know hashtag is still a thing, really. We still use it to tag things, though. Mermaid was started by a gentleman named Tom Bancroft, and he was an animator. After researching him, I am now following him, and I want to keep tabs on him because it looks awesome. I really like the, the style that he does. Um, I like this, this this little mermaid story that he's working on. It looks cute, it looks fun, and I really kind of want to know what's going on. You should give him a follow on Instagram. Mr. Bancroft started this last year, apparently. He's very big about making sure that you aren't rusting in your artwork, that you're not being stagnant, which I think is fantastic. I think that more artists need to be on aware that it's like, dude, this is something that you gotta do all the time. Every day even, like you have to be able to make sure that you are honing your craft and doing it to the best of your ability because you will always, always improve if you continue to do it. If you stop, that's the minute when you're gonna be like 10 years that behind someone simply because you didn't draw for a month. That's a little drastic, I'm sorry. I'm already a person who takes part in a month long challenge, but I know a lot of people now know about Inktober. It's where you draw one ink drawing for the entire month of October. That was started by Jake Parker. Give him a follow on Instagram, he's fantastic. He's actually been a part of taking part somewhat in Mermaid and like Inktober, Mermaid is another, a month long challenge. Sadly, because I only found out about it halfway through the month, I have not necessarily been taking part in it. I actually, I drew one mermaid. Hopefully be able to draw a mermaid for you guys today. Don't touch, hey, 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 don't touch, stop it, stop So, mermaid, month long May challenge, and I've only done one drawing, I'm going to be attempting to do a second drawing, so that way I can have a little bit more under my belt for mermaid. Sadly, I'm very much like flying from the sea in my pants today, but it might be a hodgepodge, it might be Gross. It might turn out fantastically. Let's see what happens on this art adventure. So it turned out differently than I expected. I was not expecting it to go so dark. Um, I don't normally do it too often. <laughs> um, so I did make it slightly graphic. I don't know how people's graphic scales are, like what's too much for them to handle, what's too not. And I do feel like that as an artist, I do need to take all responsibility about how much I show or how little I show of something. So I do apologize about that. My, my original plan was to do kind of like a slumping over a rock sad looking mermaid, but then I realized I tend to do sad, I tend to do thoughtful, I tend to do just kind of like gazing off into the distance all the time. Um, so I was trying to be like, no, what if, what if she's looking over her shoulder at something? Maybe she's angry or like, well, then what should be the problem? Maybe she's in pain. Well, why is she in pain? Dude, a harpoon went through her. So Okay, so it just kind of like stemmed into that. There's definitely a lot of story that was going into this where I was just like, well, why did someone harpoon her? What if she's not a nice mermaid? So I kind of made her more like shark-like features rather than typical thin and colorful. I'm just like, no, she's got very gray, gray tone. She's got, it's really hard to see, but she's got like shark teeth. Just kind of like, well, yeah, well, definitely a carnivorous mermaid, I guess, would cause some people to not like her. 
so why not have it just like, what this is this? A revenge story. So then there's like this revenge story afterwards, and it's like someone, someone's brother got eaten or something, and so then it's like, hi, we'll seek vengeance. Um, let's kill the thing that ate you. It's this mermaid shark. They just didn't realize it was a mermaid shark. It was, they thought it was just a shark. And then when they saw it, they're like, revenge! And then, uh, yeah, so an entire story popped into my head, and I was like, oh my. Okay, <laughs> this is what happens when I start drawing things, especially if I'm drawing them out of the blue. I made a mermaid contribution. If you want to see more stuff that people have been making throughout the month, look up on Instagram or Facebook or any anywhere where you can use a hashtag and just hashtag mermaid and see all the other artwork that people have been doing. It is the last video for this month of May 2017 and I am going to be doing my Prince giveaway next Wednesday. I will be drawing a name and one person is going to be getting a free print of their choice. Out of my wolves, my octopus, or my pegasus. So if you want to be in on this drawing, go ahead and click that Facebook link in the description. Like my page, share my post while you're at it at my Facebook page. Go ahead and just browse through all the other things that I make throughout the week. I don't just do the wood videos, I do a weekly comic. Pick up those art supplies, keep drawing. This is Rachel Selk, I will see you guys next week. You want to know why the camera keeps moving? It's because this little one keeps rubbing up against it. Yeah.